What's up guys? It's Brittany and as you guys may or may not know, I have been a makeup artist for 10 years now. And in sharing tips and tricks with you guys that I've learned over the years as an artist, my goal is really to just create videos that are both fun and informative as well as tutorials that are actually easy to follow. So today's video is all about what skin type am I? Just to set the foundation of the video, there are four different skin types that are most popular or commonly referred to, and that's oily, combination, dry, and normal. But I personally would add to that list and also consider dehydrated as a skin type. So let's go through the first skin type. And this one, the reason why I chose to do this one first is I feel like this one is the most used and abused and that is the oily skin type. I swear y'all, everybody and their mama thinks they're oily. I remember when I used to work at Sephora and people would come in to look for foundation, they'd be like, I'm oily, I'm oily, I'm oily. And I'm like, Lord have mercy, everybody is oily. So let's talk about what it actually means to be oily. People who are oily tend to have almost like a wet look to their skin. And not only are they only oily in the t-zone they're oily all over their face these are people who struggle to keep their foundation on for even two to three hours now if your skin gets a little oily after i don't know six hours of wearing your makeup you may not be oily i have a friend i'm not gonna say her name but she knows if she watches this she knows exactly what i'm talking about and I, I did her makeup she modeled for me and she's legitimately oily and y'all when i tell y'all i used all the tricks in the book and her skin was still glistening and shining after like three hours of wearing that makeup because she is legitimately oily and the trick and the key to oily skin is to making sure that you control it and that you properly cleanse your skin and that you use products that are not going to agitate your sebum production now that leads me into our next skin type which is combination skin people who have combination skin are lacking balance in their skin it basically means that they are maybe oily in the t-zone but dry to normal everywhere else or maybe they're dry here and oily here there's they're all over the place basically and the secret to combating combination skin is to use products that are going to bring harmony and balance to the skin and also using products for the different areas of your face so if you're oily in your t-zone maybe you use a mattifying primer to control that whereas you may use a more moisturizing primer on the rest of your face the next skin type is normal i don't really need to say much here these people are oily they're not combo they're not dry they're really just right there in the middle I would consider myself normal and I would also say that one way to achieve quote normal skin is to use the proper skincare products y'all know I'm all about skincare and prepping your skin before you do your makeup and I think that is the biggest thing to normalizing your skin the next skin type is dry now with dry skin a lot of people would tell you exfoliate 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 but with dry skin yes exfoliation is super important to making sure that the new skin cells are nice and supple and that the dead skin cells are gone that is definitely necessary however with dry skin you can definitely be susceptible to over exfoliation over exfoliation can cause a ton of irritation and a ton of texture in the skin but for dry skin the secret is hydration and moisture and more hydration and more moisture so with dry skin you should be using a super hydrating moisturizer you should be using a hydrating primer you should be using a hydrating foundation and not too much powder and with dry skin i'd even recommend with going in with a hydrating finishing or setting spray now the last skin type i referenced a little bit in the intro to this video and that is a skin type that i don't think is classified necessarily but i consider it a skin type because as a makeup artist i've seen it countless times and that is skin which is dehydrated and to me a sign of dehydrated skin is flakiness and texture with shine over the top of it so a lot of times people who are dehydrated actually confuse themselves to be oily so basically the way your skin works is when it's dehydrated what will happen a lot of times is your sebaceous glands will overproduce oil to compensate for the fact that your body is trying to tell your face that it is dehydrated so 
if you're dehydrated, you may actually produce more oils, which would make you shiny, which would then clarify the reason why you have texture and flakiness with oil on the top of it. Hopefully that made sense, but what skin type do you guys think you are? Are you dry? Are you oily? Do you feel like after watching this video that you maybe misdiagnosed your skin type? So make sure you watch this video. If you need to watch it over again, that's okay too, because I think finding the right products for your skin is key to a flawless makeup application, but it's just key to flawless skin in general. And just a few closing points. Remember that all skin types need hydration. All skin types need moisture. Even if you're oily, even if you're dry, even if you're combo, everybody needs hydration. Now I can do a video that goes a little deeper into the difference between hydration and moisture, but for today, just know that all skin types need it. Another thing I wanted to add is no matter your skin type, clean skin is happy skin. So when it comes to your cleanser, that is the biggest thing to make sure you are getting a cleanser that is for your skin type because if you're not getting the proper cleanser for your skin all the products that you put on your skin afterwards are not going to work as effectively or be able to absorb as effectively but that's pretty much all for today's video honestly this was a super quick informative video to just kind of set the foundation for potential videos in the future so comment below and let me know what is your skin type do you feel like you quote misdiagnosed yourself when it came to skin type I'd be curious to know but for now that is all and thank you guys so much for watching. Love you.